Kerala's governor Arif Mohammed Khan said recently Surya Siddhanta is the basis of all space studies in Europe. He said traditional Indian science had been reduced to myths in the minds of his countrymen. Over the years we have become unfamiliar with our ethos and as a result the scientific references in our own books were reduced into myths in our minds, reported by the New Indian Express. Khan said Surya Siddhanta was taken to the court of Al Mansur of Baghdad, the second Abisad Caliph by a man named Kanak. The Caliph then assigned mathematician Ibrahim Al Fazari to translate it into Arabic, and the then ruler of Spain obtained a copy of the book by paying a bribe to the scribe. Eventually, the book was translated into almost all European languages and became the basis of all space studies in Europe, Khan said. So we are thankful to our scientists like Dr. Madhavan Nair and Dr. Shivan, not only because they accomplished so much for us, we are grateful to them for reviving our own traditions and ethos, he said. A group of 56 Hindu pilgrims from Pakistan who arrived in Uttarakhand last week are refusing to go back. Members of the group told they will request the government of Bharat to extend their visa limit of one month and provide citizenship under the Citizenship Amendment Act of 2019. One of the pilgrims, Narayan Das from Karachi, said, We are in no position to go back. The Pakistani authorities did not allow us to bring enough money as they think we would not go back. We face ruthless persecution in that country and we were snatched of everything. We have pleaded to the Bharatiya government to provide us shelter. Another one of the pilgrims said, Our family members have been killed, daughters snatched away for religious conversion and properties taken over. It is worse than death over there. We have some hope under the new law by the Bharatiya government. State government officials refused to comment but stated on the condition of anonymity that they are keeping a close eye on the situation. Once the application is filed, then only the state government can do anything, said an official from the state home department. Earlier in January of this year, the state government identified a total of 200 Hindu refugees from Pakistan who will be granted citizenship under the newly passed Citizenship Amendment Act. In the sad history of persecution against Hindus, it has been going on for 1,000 years. Loud voices echo over the Jewish Holocaust and Armenian Genocide, but when anyone raises a voice about 1,000 years, 4.5 million Hindus disappear from Pakistan, 5 million from Bangladesh, 2.5 million during the war of East Pakistan, 3 million starved to death in one of the Bengal famines, the seventh exodus of 600,000 Kashmiri Hindus, and ongoing atrocities against 2 billion living Hindus worldwide today, it is ignored as Hindutva, or even Hindu terrorist ideology. From this it is clear, the only path is real dedication to Ahimsa. The spiritual truths of Sanatana Hindu Dharma are the strength and root. The only foundation for a true future of non-violence and powerfulness has to be the proven royal and dharmic past of Vedic traditions. Dharmic kings were neither weak nor were they pushovers, but it has always been the spiritual sciences, the yogic sciences, that transcended violent reactions of searching for an outer world solution. Lasting solutions always come from a purified inner space. This can never be compromised. Not a single country anywhere on this planet of 200 plus recognized nations is allowed to be Hindu. Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Buddhist is fine, but not a single protected place for 2 billion living Hindus. It means we need more spiritual strength. Running outside to fight and oppose will not center the strength inside.